Live from high atop the Rand Building downtown. This is the home of the Steve Harvey Morning Show. It, it, it's crazy, you heard me? 93.7 WBLK FM. WBLK HD1. Q Buffalo. Plays in 50,000 watts. Static free. The People Station. 93.7 WBLK. Good morning. It's 10.01, a minute after 10 o'clock. This is Todd Anderson, and normally you would hear music at this time, but... What we're going to do for the next two hours until 12 noon is uh, we're doing a live WBLK town hall meeting uh, to discuss COVID-19 and answer any of your questions that you might have. We have a number of guests today, um, and we're going to start out with Dr. Raul Vasquez. He's a family physician, CEO of G-Bond and Urban Family Practice. You'll also uh, hear from Dr. Igor Puzanov from Roswell, Lisa Coppola. She is an attorney at law with the Coppola firm. Uh, also, Rebecca Stevens, she's Director of Child Advocacy Center at Best Health. She'll talk about uh, child abuse uh, during this time and how difficult that is. Um, Erin Moss is a licensed mental health counselor, and she's the owner of Erin M. Moss Mental Health Counseling Private Practice. Uh, she's also a board member for the Directors for Mental Health Advocates of Western New York. Um, Sam Radford, who uh, many of you may know as director of CAO, uh, Better Schools, Better Neighborhoods. And uh, Pastor Pridgen is going to try and join us. He's uh, a little bit tied up this morning with his own church service, but possibly around 1130 or so we'll speak with uh, with uh, Doctor uh, with Pastor Pridgen, rather. So uh, first of all, Dr. Uh, Raul Vasquez is standing by. Dr. Vasquez, good morning. How you doing? Hey, good morning. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much for, for joining us today. Um, now, I want to urge uh, you listening to call the number 644-9393. If you have any questions for Dr. Vasquez based on what we're going to talk about, what you hear, you can call that number 644-9393 if you have any questions regarding uh, COVID-19. He is a family doctor, and he can probably answer pretty much most questions that you have. But we're going to have a conversation here, and if you hear anything that you... Uh, that you have questions about, just uh, feel free to call that number, 644-9393. So, Dr. Vasquez, um, we've spoken to you, uh, you know, over the uh, period of time that this pandemic has been going on. Uh, people hear your voice on the radio. But can you give us a, uh, an update on uh, what's going on with the coronavirus lately? Well, I mean, in terms of the stats, if you look at the stats today, I mean, we're, we're looking at, at pos- you know, the number of positive test rates. Uh, it's about it's 22%, which is a little bit down from where we were. In addition to the case fatality rate, we're at 7.2, so it's a little bit down. Uh, we're testing more people, so there's a little more of a comfort. Uh, we, we still have deaths taking place. And like I mentioned, and we talked in the past, that last week and this week is on, uh, what was going to be our peak. And we're pretty much close to what's happening. Uh, so it's not so much the peak, but the, the coming down from that peak. And how do, how do we go back to normal? And, and those are the questions that, that I think most of us are trying to put together. I know the governors and, and, and the presidents are doing that, but some of the physicians at the grassroots level are looking at it. How do we, you know, get our systems back to normal? Now, uh, talk to us about um, being asymptomatic and, and being able to spread the virus without uh, any symptoms whatsoever. Yeah, so this is where we, we kind of, we, we have to be very careful because we don't have all the markers. I, I said that, and hepatitis B, there's markers that we can get in the blood, and that's where we're detecting, you know, the, the coronavirus, where we can tell whether someone is having the infection, with, with, but there's a window period also. And then when they recover from the infection, that's one thing. But then there's some individuals that uh, will carry the infection. So, for example, if we do a nasal swab on somebody that's positive, and then four to five weeks later, we actually check their bloods, you would expect IgG to be there. You would expect that, that antibody to be there because they built up an immunity or response to it. Uh, if you don't have that, those are the individuals that we're going to have to be a little careful about because they may, your, they may be your carriers. And we don't have a way to detect carriers right now. I found that, you know, from what we're looking at, I've been lucky in our practice because we have very, you know, we, we actually went telehealth early on. So we, 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 we this social distancing, we weren't bringing people into the practice. We were doing a lot of uh, over video, and what that did was it reduced the amount of infection. Mm-hmm. So as it was, you know, that, 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 those are the things that we have to kind of learn and really go by. But this, uh, this carrier state is something that 
is still out there and it's still going to be a problem as we come back. Now, uh, telehealth, what, uh, explain that. So there's two forms of telehealth. So what we do in our office is we can actually, most offices are doing it. We can send a little link to the patient and then on their phone, either on the email link or text uh, link, you click on and you're communicating with the provider. Then the provider does what they need to do on that side, you know, medications or, or, or looks at things that they can see visually. That works pretty well. We go to level two also. Mm-hmm. So we use equipment called Tidal Care, which is these little kits that patients can use in their homes. But we, we sent out a actual a navigator and, and they can listen to your heart sound, lung sound, bowel sounds. You can look at the throat. Wow. You know, we can take, I mean, there's blood pressure. It's almost like you were in the office, but mm-hmm. virtually. And wow, it's, it's just as good. That's pretty amazing. That's amazing. Um, so you, you're also doing some mobile testing, correct? Yeah, so I mean, we're trying to expand, and I know I know I, I've gotten into a little headache with people because I push people hard. But we we're, so we're doing both testing. Like I said, the nasal is for the acute infection. The blood test is for the antibodies to see if if you had it in the past and recovered, or if, or if you've had it and you didn't even know and you recovered. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is being done at five sixty four Niagara Street. We want people to call in because we want to check their records and make sure all the information is there. So we're just doing the test. And people leave, but we we, we, we partner with uh, two players in the insurance market. And United Healthcare, we we got one of their vans donated for this time period, and we want to do targeted testing. So we're looking at areas that the zip codes are high, and sending this unit there. Again, patients will call, and we just show up, and and and, and we can pretty much do anywhere from 100 to 200 nasal, uh, and about 100. Uh, blood tests down in the field. The bloods are a little more uh, tougher because they take a little more time. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, Dr. Vasquez, uh, as you well know, uh, WBLK uh, primarily services the uh, African-American community, not that we don't have listeners across the board, a very diverse sta- radio station, um, but in the uh, African-American and Hispanic communities, uh, there seems to be a disproportionate uh, number of deaths. So can you impress upon people um, how serious this is to wear a mask and, you know, some of the best practices? Um, our, our cultures, uh, your culture and, and, and mine, um, many times we don't trust the, uh, the health care industry and what they're telling us. Mm-hmm. No, and that, that's, that becomes real important. I think it, it's that primary care connection. Someone that looks like you, treating you, it, it, makes, things, it makes things different. I mean... You know, we, we're also GBON, which is connecting the community to us. And our practices, our IPA practices. So you hear me, but there's Dr. Gill, Dr. Douglas, Dr. Francis. There's other, there's a the few of the Mohegans that are around that we have that tie to the community. And it's important. I mean, the social, everyone talked about, okay, you got to stay home for the, the two-week course and you're good. But, you know, you got four to five generations. It's a whole different model. Uh, individuals don't understand that this is not only airborne and, and I, but it's also on contact. Uh, you, I mean, you can leave it on plastic and stainless steel for long periods of time and it's fecal oral. So, I mean, so if you use the bathroom, you've got to make sure that you're using soap and everything's being done and that area gets disinfected after everybody uses it. So there's just things that we may not be as aware of because I, I, I've been in this field for 30 years and I've never experienced something this contagious. You know, so it, it's got to be something that we, and I think the social distancing has actually flattened, flattened the curve here because mm-hmm. I think it would have been a lot worse in some areas. So uh, I was reading something that said that gloves aren't really doing you any good. So can you talk to that and also masks? But before you do that, I want to urge people, um, this is the WBLK Town Square or Town Hall meeting. Uh, it's live broadcast. We have Dr. Raul Vasquez on the line right now. And this is all related to COVID-19. If you have any questions whatsoever, um, now's the time to call 644-9393. If you're out of town, 716-644-9393. So, Dr. Vasquez, talk to us about gloves and, uh, and masks. Now, the, gl- the gloves work. The problem is they don't, you know, so they're a barrier. And what we do is now that we have gloves, we think everything's okay. So you may touch your face. You know, you may take them off. It gives you a false sense of security. If you mm-hmm. use them and you follow protocol, you're there. But mm-hmm. just don't think that just because you got gloves on that you're good because it's plastic. Things they, you know, we touch our face about two to three times, two to three hundred times a day. Mm. 
you know, without, without even feel. without even realizing without, it, right? Yes, yeah. So that touch is it, that's what you got to be careful with. The act, the actual mask. They talk about the N95s. Those are more for healthcare workers because mm. you know you you, you don't want to catch the infection, and that there's a lot of concentration where people are coughing in the air, and it's because it could be airborne for about three or four hours. Right. Then they can catch it, and they're confined in that space. But most people, a regular mask works fine. And what we, we it's more to protect them from pushing things out. Mm-hmm. So if you have it and you're coughing, that mask retains some of those aerosolized entities or droplets, you know, so you're not throwing it out in the air. And that's where the benefit is to individuals that use it. It's more so you don't give it to anybody. Not that it's going to protect you because if you use a regular mask and you're in that environment, like in, in the office setting where there's all, or a hospital setting, and there's a lot of this the droplets and aerosolized, that's where the N95s will work. And that's, if you're in that type of setting, that's what you need to kind of protect you. But regular mask, it's just to keep you from giving it to anybody else. Okay, well, thank you for that. We do have uh, we do have a caller on the line, it looks like. Let's go to try to go to the phone and talk to the, it looks like they uh, disconnected. Uh, but if you have a question for Dr. Vasquez, please call 644-9393. Um, you better hurry up because <laughs> he, he's not going to be here much longer. Um, each of our guests has about a 15-minute segment. So uh, we're almost done with you, Dr. Vasquez, and I'm urging you to call 644-9393 if you have a question for Dr. Raul Vasquez. Um, he is the CEO of G-Bond and Urban Family Practice. He's a family physician for the last 30 years. He knows what he's talking about, so give him a call. Um, Dr. Vasquez, before we close with you, can you uh, give us some contact numbers? And um, if someone is not a patient, of uh, G-Bond or Urban Family Practice, can they take advantage of uh, the testing that you do? Absolutely. So they can call our office, 8820366. That's if, if you're a patient of Urban Family Practice or if you don't want to have a provider, you know, because we're, we're taking patients. Okay. But if, if, you, if you do have a provider, you know, we don't want uh, providers to get angry. We're not trying to take people's patients. We just want to make sure they get the test. You can call us at our nurse line at 716-604-0504. And what they'll do is they'll kind of filter it out and figure if if your doctor's okay with it and they give us a permission, then we can do the testing and send it right back. Because whoever orders the test has to follow up with the contact tracing and things that they're talking about. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're doing that, okay? All right. Let's go to the phone here. Be okay. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Can you turn your uh, radio down in the background if you have your radio on? And what is your question for Dr. Vasquez? Yes, my question is, um, due to the coronavirus, what is the time period, like, if you go get tested, how long would it take for them to let you know if you have had it? Yeah, so the, the, this is a good thing. If you have had it, it's the IgM, the blood, the blood test. That's a, that's a 24 hour turnaround time. So within a day, next day, you know. Okay. And then if somebody in the house has had it and they don't show no symptoms, can everybody get tested to see? Because there's like two people in my household that are working still in healthcare field, and that's my concern. Yeah, no, so you're, you're getting into public health, which is contact tra- tracing. That's real important. So that's what we do. We actually call the house and find out if someone was positive, we want to make sure nobody has symptoms. Because if, if you have symptoms, we do a different test, but yeah, everybody in the house should be tested. Okay. All right. Well, ma'am, thank you very much for your call. Very good, very good question. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Dr. Vasquez, we are, uh, we are out of time with you, unfortunately. Uh, it went pretty quickly. Um, but once again, if you could uh, um, just give people those numbers, if someone had uh, questions for you that they couldn't get answered right now, um, just uh, quickly give those numbers out where people can call and get more information. Yeah, yeah our office is 8820366, Urban Family Practice, or our nurse line is 604-0504. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Have a great day. Thank you for having me. Dr. Val, uh, Dr. Raul Vasquez is a family physician, once again, CEO of G-Bond and Urban Family Practice. We thank him for our time. This is the uh, WBLK Town Hall meeting. It's a live broadcast regarding COVID-19. And uh, if you stick around for a 
about six minutes, we'll be right back with Dr. Igor Puzinov and a very interesting uh, guest. They are doing a early phase clinical trial program with a drug that treats people who already have the coronavirus, who have COVID-19, COVID-19 um, at, a, at a very severe uh, stage. And uh, this drug has um, been, a little, been somewhat successful. So you want to stay tuned. And uh, we're going to talk to uh, Dr. Pusinov in just a moment. Uh, call the number 644-9393 if you have any questions whatsoever. And we'll be back in about six minutes. With Power 93.7 WBLK. Power 93.7 WBLK would like to thank all the healthcare workers around Buffalo and Western New York who don't get to work from home. Hi, my name is Sharon, and I want to do a shout out for all the workers at the VA hospital. My name is Sinceria. I want to give a shout out to the healthcare workers at Collider doing a wonderful job, but I also would like to give a shout out to the HHA people who go inside the homes who are also on the front line taking care of clients. This is a wonderful thing. Everybody be careful. Be safe, but do your thing. We appreciate you and what you do for the greater good. Tap that app to keep up to date with news and more on the coronavirus at WBLK.com. Hi, my name is David Crum, and I'm the director of sales here at Town Square Media in Buffalo, the radio station that you're listening to right now. I want to tell you three quick observations that I've had during the current lockdown. One, my kids, they're going to be okay. They're going to end up being pretty good human beings. Two, the on-air personalities that you're listening to on this radio station right now are second to none. They work hard for their listeners, and they work hard for our clients every day of the week. And three, the salespeople that I currently have on my team, they're phenomenal. They're working very hard every day for their clients and to make sure that they provide the best campaigns available in Buffalo. If you'd like to talk and have a conversation about advertising on our radio stations or one of our online products, or just have a talk about marketing, please feel free to give me a call at 370-2582. That's 370-2582. Or feel free to look me up on LinkedIn. It's David Crumb, C-R-U-M-B. And just go to LinkedIn, see if we can connect together. We appreciate you listening. We'll talk to you soon.